Okay, what is going on everyone? I'm a member of the Blender community and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to fix a specific problem when your displacement mesh does not line up with your material. Now this comes across when you have a material like this, if you have uh, some bricks, and say you go to add a displacement modifier, add a new texture, and you're over here, and you know, you put your displacement on. You, you get all, you get everything sorted out. And, uh, here we go. It's pretty normal. But if we go into material mode, the mesh is rotated. And this is not. Now, this is a pretty strange occurrence. But it does happen. So, what we're going to need to do is we need to change this from local to UV. Then, it'll properly be lined up. And instead of messing with the mapping up here to change to change your mesh that just doesn't look right because the bricks are insanely small here but the displacement shows it that they're big here so just keep this normal keep it as a one and over here once we go into edit mode you can manipulate the little vertices here to make it bigger or smaller and your displacement mesh will go along with it now this is actually mind blowing to me. Um, I learned this when I was when I was just starting off, and I always used to manipulate it up here and try to fix it over here with the cropping and the image mapping. That, that didn't work at all. So one way you can fix this is just by moving this up and down, and your mesh will adjust properly to it. Now with this, the bricks are taking up more space, so it's going to look bigger. As it is, the displacement gets bigger. If we move it way bigger than the mesh here, it multiplies and it's smaller. And there we go, it's smaller. And if you really want to add more detail to this, what you can do is you can add a subdivision surface modifier, bump that up to two, and I believe you move it over. Yep, there you go, look at all that detail right in there. Now if we scale this back to its normal size, in which it's getting pretty laggy because of the subdivision surface, but if we scale this back to our normal size, we can see that we have so much detail within one displacement modifier and one subdivision surface modifier. Now we are free to change this however we want. We can make it bigger, smaller, and the displacement modifier will follow us as long as we have it set to UV. Now you can also rotate this all around. You can move it and nothing will happen to the displacement modifier. This is a uh, little quick fix and it's really hard to find on your own if it's not told to you. So, that was it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I'll leave a link to my gaming channel in the description. And, uh, yeah. I'm a Blender of the Member Community. And I'll... <laughs> I'm a... <laughs> I'm a member of the Blender Community. And I'll see y'all later.